Good afternoon everybody, welcome to another video. This is going to be my first proper cold water, cold weather session of the year. Things have took a definite turn for the chillier. The last few days you've had frosts for a few nights now. And that got me thinking about predators. So I've come down to my very, very local stretch of the Avon. It's not too far from home at all. My One of my nice neighbours lets me fish this. This is, he has the fishing rights along here. And I've come out to do a little bit of, as I say, predator fishing. I couldn't quite decide what I wanted to do, whether I wanted to go zander fishing or perch fishing or pike fishing. So I've kind of covered all the bases, I have to say. <laughs> haven't bought too much gear with me though, because uh, you'll probably appreciate if you're a regular viewer to the channel. That I haven't been out for a while, I say a while, over a week, and that's quite a long time for me. Um, reason being, in the last video, when you saw me on the wild, when I had that trout, about halfway through that session, I um, slipped down the bank, which we all do all the time. Unfortunately, I was sort of side onto the bank and my legs were sort of in that sort of position. And as I slipped, this leg went down, this leg foot stayed where it was. So unfortunately, the thing that gave was my knee. My knee folded inwards, I heard a loud crunch and I managed to fish on because it didn't feel too bad at the time, but by the time I got home, it was horrendous. Um, been to the doctor and apparently I've torn the ligaments in my knee. <laughs> Could take six weeks to get better. So I've managed to hobble down there here though. Um, starting to feel a little bit better. It's eased a little bit as long as I keep it straight um, and, and moving forwards and backwards. We're all right. If it bends sideways though, I'll, uh, I'll be up there somewhere. Hence the chair as well and not doing a roving session. I'm going to have a bit of a sit down. I've been icing it quite a lot, which has been good for it. And it's very cold out here, so... <laughs> It's going to do some good, I'm sure. That's my excuse anyway. So yes, down here to do a bit of predator fishing. Now, uh, those of you who are new to the channel may not recognise this particular stretch. Those trees over there are very recognisable. All the subscribers will recommend, um, recognise it though. Um, welcome on board as well to all the new subscribers. We're getting lots of new subscribers uh, every day, in fact. So uh, you're all very welcome. Welcome on board. Thanks for subscribing. Now, this is a pretty wide stretch of the Avon here. Not too far from Stratford. Um, very slow in here. It's it's about twice the width of the normal Avon in, in this area, and that gives us a bit of a bit of a slack on the inside. It does tend to hold lots and lots of roach, as I've found out in the past. In fact, there's all sorts in here. Uh, we had a bit of a mixed bag the other week, but yeah, I mean I've caught I think pretty much every species you'd expect to find in a lowland river in this particular stretch from barbel, carp, to gudgeon, absolutely, absolutely everything. Lots of roach, lots of bream, lots of skimmers, lots of hybrids, lots of silver bream. There's all sorts in here, but there's also zander and pike and perch. As I know, I've caught some lovely fish from here in the past. Obviously with all those prey fish, they're gonna be here. So as I say, I've grabbed a few bits of kit to do a bit of, bit of everything. What I've done is um, I've grabbed one of my John Wilson Avon Quivers and I've put on there a bobber float as you can see. I'm going to fish lobworms on that. I've got an Advanta X530 reel on there. I've also bought with me a John Wilson Robex barbel quiver, pound and three quarter test curve. This is the other one's pound and quarter, it's pound and three quarters. I've got on there take off the got cap. I've got on there a pike bump as you can see just with a, a small sort of Olivetti type thing to cock it. What I've got on here, if I open it out, just while this plane's going over, I can't do anything here without aeroplanes going over. Little uh, light aircraft, very very noisy. So what I like to do with my predator fishing, pike and zander, not particularly for the zander, but for the pike because obviously they can bite through mono, is I tend to obviously use a wire trace. What I like to do is use some of the Drennan soft strand and couple that with a circle hook, as you can see there. Now I've done a video of how I tie this, the, my traces up. So I'll stick a link up there so you can go and have a look at, at uh, how I tie these up, should you want to venture into the world of circle hooks. I'm, I'm not a fan at all of snap tackle. Don't like treble hooks. Just my opinion. I know lots of people use them, lots of people get on fine with them, but um, 
I'll go with circle hooks. Now I have also got another rod with me. Another John Wilson Avon quiver. Um, and that's ready to take a waggler and that's to be honest just to catch some bait should we need some although I have bought some worms with me obviously for the perch and I've bought um, some roach and some smelt for the zander slash pike anyway it's enough waffling we can get some bait in the water see if we can catch a fish so we'll get this pike and the zander rod out first nice to catch some zander but do get them here more often dark I'm going to fish just till it gets dark, so you never know. I'm not going to fish into dark. I'm going to hop off home <laughs> before it gets dark. Now, sliding stop knot on here. I'm going to fish right in the edge for now. For plenty of runs in the edge. Set that to about Four foot or so, five foot maybe. Let's see if we're, if we're on the bottom there. I think we may well not be. No, we're not. What I want to do is fish so that the weight that will cock the float. I want that's just enough to cock the float. Slightly under what's needed to cock the float. Now I use that to um, could possibly sort of run this float around if we want to, you can't see that, but for now I think I'm just going to drop it in the edge there, let the bait just sit on the bottom. We'll fish it just a little bit over depth. And I'll be able to tell that when the float's lying on the flat on the top. With all these leaves, it's a bit tricky. There we go. So I should leave that just next to me there. Put the bait run on just in case. And I think we'll do a bit of perch fishing just next to the reeds just down here as well. five or ten minutes on worms and like I say I might uh, get the waggler rod out and uh, do a bit with the waggler Perhaps catch catch a few small live baits fancy doing a bit of live baiting happy to stick with the worms for now some dendrobinas and some lobworms we'll, uh, we'll go with a reasonable size dendrobina I think first off what we can tempt. I'm going to be fairly near the bottom I think. Very very simple setup I'd say just a bobber on some hold on with some float rubbers, a few swan shot down the bottom, SFGs, fluorocarbon hook link and a and a worm. Obviously if we change to uh, live baits I will have to change over what I trace on because there's lots and lots of pike in here. Now I hope that sun doesn't come out because I actually came out this afternoon because it was due to be very very overcast and it is. Although it does look to be breaking up unfortunately. Well, just got some, some bait and Spike's trapped it, can you believe it? <laughs> right next to, <laughs> I 
right next to where my, uh, there we go, it's bitly off. <laughs> <coughs> right next to the pike float. So I guess we do need uh, <laughs> some luck baits. <laughs> oh dear. Crazy. Just trying to catch some bait, literally. First put in. Snip me bait. Right. Let's try that again, shall we? See if we can get one past him. We might be able to catch him. I saw him just down here. He wasn't huge. It was only maybe four or five pounds, but <clears throat> someone catching him. Right. Let's put another hook link on. Let's try again. Very first one. It's just unbelievable. Must be sat, he must be sat down there next to that, <laughs> next to that dead bait. Not interested at all. But you know, he was only a little jack, so. Not really surprising. He wanted to <laughs> grab my, what I presume was a roach, just so I just bought it back. Right, try again. I'll get this one out of the water a bit quicker. The very, very first one. Oh dear. Right, get him out quick. <laughs> oh, my leaf's a bit big. <laughs> well, I was after some bait. That's that's certainly too big, I'm not gonna use that. Sure lots of people would, but not too big for me. Especially with Xander in mind. All right. <laughs> Perch bobbers off. I thought I had a little pull on it, and it's uh, gone away. Ah. Probably a little one. The worm. So that's good. Good sign. <laughs> right. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well. Not very big, as suspected. Well, that's good. <laughs> Fantastic. All right, I think we've got a take by the looks of it. Didn't take long, just moved into this spot as you can see. Oops, you can see all right, float's gone. Very big. <laughs> yeah, little pike. <laughs> you can see it, alright. <laughs> good account of himself, though. Mm 
Okay. You two. Got it. Gotcha. <laughs> well, there we are. A few pound. I don't know. Five pound, maybe something like that. <laughs> Wonderful. Great stuff. Right. Let's not keep it, mate. Let's get him back in the water. See if we can catch his big brother. Well, as I'm sure you can see, we're losing the light. <laughs> Keeping an eye on that float, it's bobbing away. Yes, it's, uh, we're losing the light. We've only got probably 10 or 15 minutes left before I can no longer see any of these floats. Well, <laughs> still catching the perch with eyes bigger than their bellies. <laughs> oh, the bigger ones, unfortunately, I know reside in here. I'm not going to give it too much long. I just came out for a short session, really, as much as my knee would cope with, and that's about what I've done, to be honest. <laughs> perch is still at this point. <laughs> The bobber is a bobbin. So, as you can see, it's just got dark and that's just about all my knee can cope with at the moment. Just a couple of hours here, a bit of fun, uh, a few perch, uh, nothing of any size, and that pike, of course. So, yeah, it's very, very enjoyable. Nice to go out of the house, I have to say. But, uh, my knee certainly telling me about it now so it's definitely time to go home now i shall be out again as soon as possible but until then thank you very much for watching hope you enjoyed that a little bit of fun a couple of hours down here tight lines enjoy your own angling many thanks to the channel patrons for your fantastic support and i'll see you all again very soon